was the difference? Uh, I think, you know, I, I, we, we, we understood what the feeling felt like, you know what I mean? And uh, I think everybody, even from play one, uh, we that's the emotions that we took into the game. Uh, so we just want to take those back emotions and just apply it, you know what I mean? Not doing so much talking, but just letting that play speak for itself. Um, obviously, a lot more things that we wish that we could do. But uh, at the end of the day, man, we had a lot of guys stepping up, making big time plays, man, uh, across the board from the D-line. You know, those guys figuring out ways to get pressure on the quarterback, affecting the throws, getting in throwing lanes with sacks, you know what I mean? QB pressures, um, you know, a lot of guys playing big time ball. You guys have been talking about <clears throat> building something close for a while. Look at the kids and sort of finally show that in action, putting two straight wins together. Close. Man, it feels good. It feels good. Uh, you know, the message is the same whether we win or whether we lose, man. It's always about us. It's always about taking that next step. It's always about improving. Um, it's lessons learned when we lose. It's lessons learned when we win. And it's just about taking those lessons, man, and applying it the next week. Uh, so now that's what it is, you know what I mean? We're going to enjoy this one for sure because it feels good for sure. But, you know, come, you know, 24 hours from now, we've got to flip that page and get ready for the next week. You had the ball seven times in the second half. You guys didn't allow it. How would you describe the defense in the second half and what were you guys out there? I was just, you know, a group that's resilient, you know what I mean? Um, you know, obviously they got a couple plays in the first half that we wish we had back. Um, but, you know, it wasn't looking at the past, man. Everything was on the future and everything was at the present time. You know, what we got to do now to help this team win. And uh, even the locker room, man, nobody flinched, nobody broke. Broke, uh, bent a little bit, but that's football, man. We figured out ways to get off the field, figured out ways to make good. To hold, to hold it. To hold it. Been on this yeah, I mean, obviously it speaks for itself, man. Obviously a guy that plays with a, you know, a high motor guy that can, you know, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Um, you know, he's helping us out a lot, man. Just affecting the quarterback, speeding up things, and uh, he's seeing guys make plays off of that. You guys went from uh, being very close to making a ton of plays to making plays in bunches now. Is that how much of that is just you know the, the luck of the draw, and how much of it is you guys making an emphasis on finishing plays? Yeah, I think that's a big emphasis each and every day. You know, we step foot in that building um, throughout the week, man. We, you know, the opportunity presents itself for us to make the play. We got to make those plays. Um, I still feel like we had opportunity to make a couple more out there, but you know, I'm excited. Um, you know, I'm. I'm you know, excited about the win that we had, and um, that's that's what the emphasis is. That's always what the emphasis is going to be. So, even moving forward next week, man, it's still the same same thing. Like, you know, we got to we got to learn from this as far as like the good things that we did, but even the things that we can get better with. Uh, it's always lessons in it. We just got to go out and, and you know confront it, and you know be honest with ourselves. But it definitely feels good. A lot of guys made a lot of plays, man. So I'm not taking anything away from that, man. We're going to enjoy this one for sure.